The first one was just too much. It was my first sip of the day. Well, it is <clears throat> just a little after noon, so I hope this was your first sip of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I pick up the sherry. Whiskey fam, whiskey fam, sit down and grab a dram and listen to your boy Whiskey One and legit whiskey reviews. Thanks for stopping by, Javier. Good to be here, man. You Good got to be it. Here, finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's a fellow YouTuber, just like myself, and we've communicated over, I think, the last two years, maybe, and just kind of, you know, just support each other. Number one, I watch his videos, he watches mine, and we give each other feedback. And, and it just so happens that he lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So I'm honored to finally have you here with me and, and share share whiskey and we do a review together. Honored to be here. It's yeah, gonna be Yeah, for good. sure. For sure. Well, let's get right into it, folks. We are going to review the Pursuit United Rye. And this one is finished in Sherry French casks. Now, you may have come across a rye that's been finished in a wine cask and maybe even a sherry wine cask. I know Sagamore has something pretty similar, but this is a French cask. So there's a bit of a subtle difference. And I wanted to get into this with Javier because we both enjoy rye, and he actually beat me to the punch <laughs> on reviewing the Sagamore Spirit rye that's sherry finished. So. Yeah, sherry. And then, I mean, I just love any finished rye. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just feel like finished ryes are, they just come off better uh, than finished bourbons. I, I feel like finished bourbons are like starting to get like overdone by now. Yeah. Yeah. I think we, we see a lot out there in the market, but when it comes to rye, it's sort of this not untapped thing, but to your point, not a lot, not a lot. I think rye just has a whole lot of flexibility when it comes to that. It's yeah. just a good standout flavor. Yep. All right, man. Well, cheers. We'll right, get right cheers. into it. I, you get. <laughs> I was gonna say I pick up the sherry for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. So. All right. So this is a rye, and with rye, you can almost expect a couple of things. It, most of them are a little bit minty. Some could be eucalyptus heavy. I'm not getting any eucalyptus on this. This feels more minty and herbal. I'm not getting perfuming. any dill. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I pick up dill. I'm not getting that in this one. Not at all. There is that wine musk. And at least that's something that I generally get with a, a finished whiskey is it tends to have that wine funk. It's a little bit earthy. It's got that little muskiness to it. Um, brings it. It makes it feel dark. I, I can get that. I know. It, um, but I think uh, I'm getting a lot of that sherry. It's, mm -hmm. I don't think it's overly done, though. I just I get a lot of that. Well, I'm going to tell you this. I, I reviewed this, posted on Instagram, so I'm familiar with the experience of this bottle. And, and one of the things that kind of stood out to me while I was reviewing it and kind of dissecting it was how balanced it was. It wasn't that... That sherry was the dominant thing in the room. It just didn't overpower the rye or nothing like that. This this feels very balanced. It you know the flavor from that wine cask mm -hmm. is noticeable, but it, it's settled in right there with the rest of the flavors. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty well balanced for sure. I'm gonna get into this, Ben. All right, cheers, man. Cheers. Okay. So the sherry is a bit more noticeable on that palate, yeah. on the taste, for sure. For sure. Uh, but there's, again, there's good balance, in my opinion, with the, uh, with, especially in the finish, where I, where I get a lot of that spice, uh, a little bit of pepperiness. Um, there's a lot of sweetness throughout. I like the sherry, but I, I feel like it's well balanced with, you know, I, I love a good rye with that spicy, mm -hmm. long finish. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm getting all of that in this one, so. I had to take a second sip. You know, because that first one really hugged the palate. It, it's got a good oily mouthfeel. It warms, so it's a bit warming too. And that spiciness, now that I took that second sip, is like, now I'm here to play. 
and I'm hitting you up. Like that has got a good amount of spice. I wouldn't say it's an aggressive spice. No, not at all. Not at all. <clears throat> it's just warming. Golly. So, and this is not exactly like high proof, but it's not low proof. It's right there, right in that sweet spot. And I forgot exactly what the, what the proof was. So it's 54% ABV. And I think most folks that start to get into whiskeys, they want to go for the, you know, the 40s, the 45s. Maybe they get closer and closer to 50%. But once you drink whiskeys and you get a little bit more acclimated and used to maybe some of that hug that, that you get from whiskeys, then you start getting to that mid-range, the 50s. And I feel like with some people, that's their sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't know how you feel, but... Yeah, I think so. I don't necessarily like to drink barrel proofs, super high proofs all the time. For me, those are more like an occasion pour, you know, yeah. more or less. Give it, Maybe like on a Friday night, something like that. But I like to stay, yeah, um, 100 to... Between 100 and 110, I feel like it's... Yeah, yeah it doesn't feel thin in any yeah. way, right? It feels full-bodied. Yeah. And then when I have a lot of finished rise... I sometimes they tend to be overdone and I feel like this one like I keep saying it's a perfect balance because mm -hmm. I don't think that sherry is overtaking any part of the of the rye or any part of the experience yeah um, man <clears throat> so now I've had a third sip and as you were kind of describing that a couple of things hit me first off I get a lot of black tea I get leather and I get a good amount of sweetness too but it's not like a decadent rye. I come across ryes where, yeah. man, that thing is pretty darn sweet. And those tend to be more your, you know, like Kentucky straight ryes and stuff like that. They're a little bit on the on the sweet side. This one is, I'm gonna go back to what you're saying, being balanced. It's not overpowering. It's just a just the right level of sweetness. Sweet and savory. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm picking up that leather note now. Um, the third sip, I didn't pick it up. The first one was just too much. It was my first sip of the day. Yeah. The second one, I got acclimated to it, and now I'm starting to pick up, you know, the little nuances in the in the rye here. So, well, it is <clears throat> just a little afternoon, so I hope this was your first sip of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, now, you know, with that sherry cast finished, I'm starting to get the darker fruits. Yep. Yeah. Um, I was getting them at first, don't get me wrong, and it made it sweet, but with the darker fruits, now I can kind of pick them apart. You know, it, it's settled in my mind. Now I'm like, okay, it feels like, you know, those, those dark cherries, I get subtle, subtle raspberries because there's a little bit of bitterness, just a slight bitterness to it, a little tanginess, but the dark fruits really start to show up a little bit more along with that spice. I definitely pick up the raspberry. Um, I get a lot of that. I didn't pick up too much cherry, but everybody's palate's different. Yeah, uh, but, yeah. Uh, um, Does it feel candied to you? <laughs> yeah, that's the first note. Uh, not my first sip, but my second sip, I started to pick up a lot of candy sweetness. Yeah. Um, so I want to do a quick shout out to Kenny Coleman. If you have been following us for some time, we did a, an interview with Kenny. We sat down with him at one of our Albuquerque Whiskey Society events, and I got to pick his brain and really get a sense for like who Kenny was. I got to see that passion behind the brand. They're a podcast. So if you've ever heard of Bourbon Pursuit, and most of you probably have, then you'll know that Pursuit Spirits or Pursuit United here, um, they are the people behind the brand. And so him and Ryan Cecil came up with an idea to become blenders, become bottlers. Think of them like independent bottlers when you pick up maybe like a bottle of Lafroy that wasn't really branded by Lafroy, but it's still a Lafroy brand. That's what these guys are doing. They're essentially working with different uh, distillers and different companies to you know, sample all kinds of different bourbons and ryes and find that sweet spot where they blend it just so and come out with an amazing product. If you haven't already picked up this bottle, I would highly recommend it. I'm not sure what your thoughts I'm are. I'm definitely a fan now. And I mean, you can tell how meticulous they were with like their selections and like just everything that went into to this rye. And I just feel like, uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely one I'm going to be picking up and nice. seek out. I haven't seen it in stores actually, but I haven't been like actively looking, but now I will be. Now I'm gonna reveal something. 
All right, so I didn't know certain things about Javi before we like met. And it just so <laughs> happens that we were both veterans. We were in the Navy at the same time. Same time. And we probably were at the same deployment, we which were, was in like 98. Yeah, 98. And we went on deployment and we were in the same fleet, the Pacific fleet. So Yep. Crazy okay. small world, right? It is a small world. And he's world. from Brooklyn. I'm from Albuquerque. So the fact that like somehow we're now sitting down <laughs> in, in, the, same in the same room talking whiskey yeah, is crazy. It is. Well, it was good to have you, man. All right. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Appreciate you got it. it. You got it. So check out his page as well. 100%. Subscribe to the channel. It's good content. Solid. Uh, we're going to put information and the details uh, on this video for sure. Uh, check him out. Legit whiskey reviews, man. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for having me again. You got it. Now here at Whiskey One, it's about the one you enjoy. Cheers. Cheers.